Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys a remote desert Airbnb that Katie actually booked five months in advance. This is about two hours southeast of LA. So if you wanna have a nice little getaway, this is perfect. This is not too remote either. 15 to 20 minutes from a very nice suburb here in California. But without further ado, let's get right into the showcase, the tour, I guess. We tied Jackson to the hose here just because he tends to wander off and sometimes he might get lost. So before we start, actually, up there is the parking spot. Park up there and there's a nice little trail that comes down here. So over here, we have a nice little table and a bench, a couple benches here. If you want to, um, you know, eat dinner out here, this is nice. Nice wooden table here. Here we have some solar panels. It's great to see that we're uh, very sustainable and self-sufficient here. Um, out in the desert also a great idea I mean and now moving on over to like the main I guess stage you could say uh, we have a nice little table here a couple chairs Katie and I and Jackson we were out here last night just watching the stars and I'm telling you guys there's no pollution out here the stars were amazing you can see every single star out here so I definitely recommend if you are a stargazer renting out this Airbnb for that sole reason we have a grill on this side if you wanted to grill, we're not really grilling, but if you want to grill, hey, grill. And then, um, yeah, let's just, let's go dive into the little, small little Airbnb here. So as you walk into the small little house here, there's a wooden little house. Over here, we have a nice little workstation desk area. If you work remote, again, if you want a nice little getaway, this is a perfect uh, spot for that. We put the shades down here just because privacy reasons, even though there's really no one here. We have the bathroom here. I actually took a shower this morning. It, there is hot water, warm water, whatever temperature water you want. The interesting part is this toilet. The toilet is divided into two parts here. It's a compostable uh, toilet. So number two up, he up here, number one down here. It works, but again, there's no real flush. So I'm sure if you go bathroom a lot here during your stay here, it might smell. The host was very kind to provide some you know, shampoo, body soap, Febreze air freshener for that reason, towels. Here's a mirror here too. But yeah, great shower by the way. Here is our kitchen area slash sink where we brush our teeth and everything. Great to have all these pots and pans, knives, cleaning supplies, recycling, trash, refrigerator that we should be using. But yeah, this is just amazing. And then back here, a nice little overlook. Again, I haven't shown you guys the actual main overlook here, but this is the back. And then here is the bed area. Katie can attest to this, but this is one of the most comfiest beds we've ever slept on to our surprise. I mean, we weren't really expecting much, but it's actually really soft. Yeah, you get up here. And then here's a nice, nice little cubby. Excuse the mess of our clothes here, but Jackson, he slept here last night. He wanted to sleep up here, but obviously for height and uh, safety reasons, he couldn't. But yeah, he slept there. That was nice. One more thing I want to point out to that there is air conditioning you should put it at like 75 degrees 70 degrees you don't want to use too much electricity but again if it gets too hot here there is air conditioning and the most important and special piece of this airbnb this nice small tiny home is the overlook and guys this is golden hour so this is the best it would be so let's take a look at the view here is an amazing view of our Airbnb. Again, this is golden hour. This Airbnb was, I believe, $185 per night. If you are a stargazer, if you need a break from the noise from the city of LA or just anywhere, you just want a nice, peaceful overlook, definitely recommend this place. This is not sponsored at all. We definitely paid the $185. Uh, it's well worth it just for these views again and just to get away. It's really nice. Obviously, it's dog friendly. So if you have a dog, bring them here and food. Anything else, really just 20 to 30 minutes away. So that's not like it's in the middle of nowhere. So definitely I recommend this place. Katie, what do you give it out of five? A 4.5. 4.5, okay, Five. dang. There are a lot of bugs at nighttime, but I mean, they're not too crazy. There's no tarantulas or scorpions, at least that we've seen. But um, yeah, definitely, definitely recommend this place. If you want to check out this Airbnb, the a link for it is in the description. Again, this is not sponsored. We don't get commission or anything. Just want to help the host out. He was very nice and responsive to us. Thank you guys for watching and have an amazing day. Mm -hmm. yeah.
Also, I forgot to say, I definitely recommend coming during the daytime because there aren't a lot of lights when coming up to this overlook. And also too, if you do come at nighttime, bring a flashlight. There is a flashlight inside there, but just again, if you park up there, there are no lights. So definitely recommend having a flashlight just to basically get down here to get this extra flashlight. But yeah, definitely recommend this place, guys.